Good morning guys, welcome back to the Jaeger's Garage channel. Today we're doing a little bit something different because of the breaking news and all of the specs that have come out for the Cybertruck, as you can see in this lettering. It kind of looks like um, Chick-fil-A has spelled it out, but that's okay. So we're going to go through some of these. It's, so these are all or what I understand is the highest model. It's 11,000 pounds towing, 340 miles of range, and 2.6 seconds and 0 to 60 for the Ultra Beast model, which is apparently 990,999, wait, 99,999, I believe, is how much that costs. But that we'll get into that. If we have to like hit order or something to see the prices, we will. Because there are different trim models. There is the uh, single motor, dual motor, and then tri motor or something like that. So uh, you can drive this on any planet. That's good to know. Uh, durable, rugged enough to go anywhere, even Mars. Tackle anything with electronically adapted air suspension that offers 12 inches of travel and 17 inches of clearance. That's going to be pretty cool. Probably actually genuinely handy. I'm sure when this thing works, it will work very well. I, I doubt that it's going to have any issues. However, Tesla has been known for quality control. And we'll see how, you know, it's easy to talk smack and everything. But I'm not, I'm not going to hold any judgment on anything. You might hear a little bit of sarcasm or something in my tone of voice. But when it comes out, we'll review it and we'll check it out. And then if they own up to all their smack talk, then good on them. And I'm, I'm happy for them, honestly. So no paint, no chips, an ultra-hard stainless steel exoskeleton helps reduce dents, damage. Uh, so this was kind of something that DeLorean did with their stainless steel. It wasn't any paint. I'm going to assume that this is probably a different kind of stainless steel. Maybe a different, you know. I'm sure they, had, they cooked up something a little different. Because I remember this, the DeLorean... They lasted, but they, they dented and stuff. Uh, shatter resistant. This is the glass, I'm assuming. Armor glass can resist the impact of the baseball at 70 miles per hour, so they changed that because the steel ball was too much for it. It actually did break it. I remember that happening. That was pretty funny. But it apparently makes the cabin as quiet as outer space. That sounds terrifying to me, but I've heard that it has a good sound system, so let's keep going. Beyond prepared, haul everything you need with 2,500 pounds of payload and 1,100 pounds of towing capacity. Going to the average African elephant. That's an interesting way of comparing. The super tough composite bed doesn't need a liner and is big enough for a 4x8 construction material. Cool. So you got it hauling things here. Again, there's no telling on the actual range and everything. Tesla tends to overestimate stuff but hey you know it could come out and it could be better also like if it is going to take till 2025 to release the best version of this it'll probably they'll probably have the kinks worked out but we'll see so this is holy crap pack it up access a six by four bed there's no way they fit all that in there right i mean definitely not the kayak right there's no way holy cow Oh my gosh, they did. Wow, they just strapped it on top. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess with class that hard, you could, you don't have to worry about breaking it, so. Yeah, 2,500 pounds. Lock it up. Okay, so it's got that weird tonneau cover thing. That's interesting. Into the wild. Travel up to 340 miles on a single charge, enough to get you into the backcountry and beyond. Recover up to 136 miles of range within just 15 minutes of supercharging so that is wild they do have a new charging system i believe for these and they've been working on it for a while and if it does what it says it's going to be really good this combined with toyota's new solid state batteries going to be beautiful it's going to be awesome power your site oh yeah you can run stuff out of the bed kind of like with the ford lightning um i don't think the Ford Lightning has that many kilowatts. I believe it's a little lower than that, but it'll still run. But this will this will run some things. 
dopamine. Okay, so this truck injects you with dopamine. It has needles in the seat. Uh, go 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds in beast mode while maintaining high speed stability with steer by wire and rear steering. So it has rear steering. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, rugged, outside, comfortable, inside. Immerse yourself in a spacious modern cabin packed with advanced features. So it's got the touch screen, um, cup holders. I'm assuming this is real. It has that weird steering wheel that, you know, I haven't experienced that steering wheel, so I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But at least it has a top on it. It's not open at the top. So we have touch screen in the front and apparently a touch screen in the back, a 9.4 inch touch screen in the back. That's going to be wild. Uh, how do I... Okay, recording studio. This is what I heard about because I'm I'm up on the all of the uh, sound systems and stuff. Recording studio sound dynamics with 15 speakers, including two dedicated subwoofers. They managed to fit a lot of speakers in here. I gotta admit, that's pretty insane. Two subs in the back. These are probably like mids, mid, mid, high, 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 mid, mid, maybe something like that. I don't know, but that's good. It looks like it would sound good, at least, from coming from me installing amps and subs and stuff. Charge everything. Yeah, I've heard it's packed full of wireless chargers. Uh, you have a bioweapon. Built-in hospital-grade HEPA filters. What? That is hilarious. Why did they call it bioweapon defense mode? What are you going to be driving through? Okay, so if any if anything happens, like an outbreak or something, you, you want one of these. That's going to be cool. People, whenever an outbreak happens, if an outbreak happens, they're just cruising in their cyber trucks. This will be the car to steal, or the truck to steal, excuse me. Elon Musk kept calling it a car too, so I can't help it in the presentation. Uh, expand your horizon. Plenty of room for five adults with expansive cabin views and all grass sunroof. So you're driving in the sun. Unless these have automatic dampeners where they, they pull themselves down or something, which I don't think they do. You're going to be freaking blind as a bat. Especially if you're driving around in like California or something. Keep the adventure going. Explore Tesla design upgrades for every scenario. Accessories sold separately. Okay. That's accessories sold separately. Light up the world. The lights. You know what? The lights I'm okay with. The blinkers and stuff are going to be kind of strange. Because I don't, I haven't seen the blinkers in operation, and they don't look like much unless this whole bar lights up. But I'm not sure. So far, I've only seen the top light and this light. That light, I'm assuming, doesn't come on when you're driving, driving, because that's gonna blind the crap out of someone. Base camp fits two adults comfortably and pumps up in minutes. Pumps up. This is something that I've heard. Um. So, it doesn't come with a spare tire, or if you do get a spare tire, you have to strap it at the back like that, reducing how much square footage you get of, um, storage. Because, I don't think they came, like, that was the one thing they couldn't really do, is figure out where a spare could go. So they said, just strap it in the back. Go even further with a range extender installed, offering up to 470 plus miles of total range installed separately so i wonder how much that's gonna cost so yeah here's here we go this is the specs this is the nitty-gritty this is what we've been waiting for so cyber beast 320 miles range extender is 440 plus don't know how much that's gonna cost sold separately it's all-wheel drive 2.6 seconds 0 to 60 130 11 000 pounds of towing we have diesel trucks that can out tow this and out mile this, but with this charging so fast, that is going to be a good hinder. Now, I am not an advocate for electric vehicles. I just I just like to play devil's advocate because, you know, I don't want to throw anything out. Electric vehicles are probably here to stay, and they will keep getting better and better. As much as I like to go vroom, electric vehicles are kind of cool. However. This thing, I can't see myself driving it because it just looks like you're driving around a kid's toy. Like, it looks like one of those little shapes that he, it, the kid just keeps trying to shove it in the square hole and it's a triangle. However, I would like to try one of these out. 
So this is 4.1 in the all-wheel drive model, 112 top speed, 11,000 pounds still, and 340. Do we have a price anywhere? Doesn't look like it. And then the real wheel drive, this is the basic one. And that is 250 miles, which is not very much range. 6.5 seconds, 0 to 60. And 7,500 pounds. So this will be like the, the mid-duty truck. And then the other models, you know. So, it, interestingly enough, they don't have dimensions or supercharging or anything like that. They do have a warranty for that one. It's pretty cool. Well, the Cyber Beast. Yeah, they have a warranty for that one, too. But, anyway, that is the Cyber Truck. And there's still, you know, a lot more to figure out about it. And I, I have a feeling that we have a lot more things to learn when it comes to how they developed it and how they've done all that. Because they've been kind of secretive. Tesla's always been secretive. They just put stuff out. I know some people have already gotten some of these in their hands. Early models, obviously. But, well, they have hats. Heck yeah. I had to get my own merch. But, anyway, that's, that's pretty interesting. I'll probably try... What's going on there? I'll probably drive one one day. But I don't I don't know if I'll own one. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Maybe maybe if I get rich I'll just I'll buy one and park it in the garage. Mm. No. I, I won't do that. I got my uh six liter diesel. That's all I need. I'm good to go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been interesting. I know it's kind of different from what I'm usually doing, but I figured I'd just review this check it out see what's going on it's interesting to keep up to date on like newer technologies and stuff so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye